Okay, so I am going for it. I hope you guys can see me. I haven't filmed in this like area or this direction before. Um, hi, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Danielle and today I am going to be reviewing my Super Puffs for you guys. So these are the Aritzia Super Puffs. I have three of them. I have the Little Puff, I have the Original Super Puff, and I have the Shorty Puff. So let's get into it. This was my original Super Puff. <laughs> it's the name Original Super Puff. This is my first Super Puff that I ever purchased and I absolutely love it. I think I got it around like four years ago. So I've had it for quite a while and it is in pristine condition, you guys. Like I've even washed it like three or four times maybe like nothing there's no wear at all you cannot tell like you would think this is a brand new coat it's just as puffy as the day i got it and so i got it extra small and honestly i would actually if i was to rebuy i would repurchase in a size small just because of the fact that if you're wearing a sweater or something i don't know if you guys can tell it starts to get a little bit tight and i don't like that I know a lot of people say order a size down, they think that they fit big, but personally I think they're supposed to fit big and that's how I like to wear my coats. I hate it when coats start to feel restrictive. So that's my thoughts on the sizing. Okay, so I'm going to do like a pros and cons with each jacket for you guys. Okay, so there's definitely like way more pros because I actually think that the Aritzia Super Puffs, in my opinion, or a warm coat are like the best coats like I, and I'm not even joking um, so Jay has a really beautiful Burberry puffer coat like it is so puffy and whenever we get in the car when it's really really cold I will be so hot in my super puff and he will be like cranking the heat and I don't understand how because his coat is so puffy and really nice and it's like goose down and everything but these coats are amazing so if you're looking for a warm coat like don't even worry this is such a warm coat it's so incredible okay so pro number one super warm um pro what's pro number two <laughs> super cozy they are like I gravitate to wanting to wear this because it is just so comfortable like it it's the best it's like a duvet cover around your body they're so comfortable I love it yeah, and oh, here's another pro. The hood is detachable. So if you don't want to wear the hood, take it off. Whole different style. But the fact that it has a hood is really, really good. That's also a pro. And um, okay, so for me, this length is pretty good. I don't know if this length is as popular as it used to be. I'm not really sure. But I would say sometimes which, what frustrates me is if I do have a longer sweater on, like say a cardigan or something, it will hang out and then I don't wanna wear this jacket. And then that's where like the longer length super puff would come in. So something to think about. Honestly, you guys, I don't feel that there are any cons. Like that's my only con and it's not even a con of the coat, it's just a con of getting this style. <laughs> um, yeah, like I'm trying to think, are there cons? Like there are no cons. I guess really I could nitpick and say it is not waterproof but I have I actually haven't experienced getting soaked in this coat so it's like it's water repellent but yeah it is not waterproof and if you stayed in the rain long enough eventually it will penetrate through but yeah I love this coat so much and honestly like I have nothing bad to say about it I can only think of good things. It's just so comfortable. The zipper has never once got stuck. And I own other coats that are like really expensive, like designer puffer coats, and they the zipper gets stuck. This has never got stuck. It has a zipper and it has the buttons, so you're really like keeping yourself warm here. The wind's not getting in. They are just the most amazing coats. <laughs> This video is so silly. Um, and then also to, oh, you know what's interesting? Okay, so this is the original one. This is like when Aritzia first started making them. There's no thumb hole. 
But on the shorty that I have, it's newer and there is a thumb hole. So that's really interesting. But yeah, like, oh my gosh, I love. And then with going with this color, this is a bright color and I do really like it and I get a lot of compliments on it, but I would say it doesn't match everything. And sometimes it is frustrating because I just always want to wear my super puff. So I have been thinking about getting maybe a dark green or a darker blue, if there is a darker blue, just to have a more like neutral tone to mix it up. So this is my Super Puff Shorty. This is also in the size extra small. And the hood is also removable. I did learn something the other day though that there is a waterproof Super Puff and the hood is not removable. I've seen that on someone's video. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about getting the waterproof one. And she didn't realize that because she owned, she owns other Super Puffs and all the hoods are removable. And then she just ordered that without thinking and yeah, hood not removable. So this one is for instance, when I don't want to wear my red one. And also in my opinion, it's a little cuter. So this is like, if I'm going for a little bit more of a cuter look, like it's a little ski bunny. <laughs> I think that having the white is really, really nice. And you would think because it's white, you should be terrified of wearing it but what I'm actually finding is because it is so bright when it is a little bit dirty and it is a tiny bit like I'm sure this will wash out I don't even know if I can show you guys this do you see it's like a little there's a little bit of discoloration right here you can't really notice it because it's so bright that yeah, I don't know. I, I almost think if it was like a cream color, you would actually notice dirt easier. But because this is so bright, it almost like washes out the stain. Like it's just so bright that your stain, or sorry, your eyes aren't thinking about the stain. You're just overwhelmed by the whiteness of the coat. Like I'm sure if you had a huge red stain or like something big, obviously, you know. But little things, just daily wear kind of stuff you don't really notice it so yes there is the thumb holes in this and this is a really great feature about these coats because the wind does not come up your sleeve super smart I absolutely love it it feels really really comfortable um, so yeah if you're thinking like you're not gonna like the feeling of this tight uh, material on you it's really comfortable you don't even notice it. you don't think about it and I think it's so smart um, also too if you are in snow or something like that like no snow is going up your sleeve so it's really really smart but the con to this coat obviously is you have to think about what you're wearing and you pretty much want to be wearing a shorter top nothing that hangs lower than the jacket really this is just as warm as my red one obviously um, it's shorter so your body is more exposed. So I guess it's not like giving you the same amount of protection, but otherwise it is still really, really warm considering it's shorter. So if you just want to go for style, um, I would say going for this one, you're not really compromising too much in terms of warmth because I mean, if you wanted, you could also wear like a sweater a little bit longer. I don't know. For me though, I am a freak. I'm really, really cold all the time. I need to have a longer one, but this is still really warm. Like I'm sure for most people and normal people, <laughs> except for me, I'm just, I'm like, I don't even run at normal temperatures. So I would say this is definitely going to keep you warm enough. And yeah, it gives you the hood. It like it, it's a great job. So yeah, I think the main thing to consider when purchasing this size is just you're gonna be like feeling frustrated with what you can wear underneath. That's how I feel at least, and that's the biggest con for this length. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys my what's it called? The little puff. Okay, so this one I purchased in a size small. And I really, really like this. I would totally buy this in another color. 
Um, if I could get it on, like, what the heck? Ah, I can't get my shirt on. Oh my god, you guys. Okay. So this is obviously a lot thinner, and I like to wear this in the spring. I can even wear it on a summer night. Um, I had a jacket similar to this, uh, like similar to the same amount of puffiness, and it was not nearly as warm as this coat is. So I think for how thin it is, it is really warm. And I did actually wear this recently while I was walking outside, actually twice, and it was pretty cold. I think maybe like seven degrees and I was still warm. So if you are a person that runs hot, you could honestly get away with wearing this as a winter jacket, especially if you make sure you get an appropriate size that you can wear a sweater underneath. This might actually be all you need. Like, cause this is a really warm coat, but at the same time, when it's not as cold outside, I feel like it's not like overly hot. And that might be actually that goose down, I believe regulates, it's kind of like wearing Uggs, I feel like. I think that the natural fibers, the way it works is it almost can regulate your temperature so you're never like too, too hot or too cold. I don't know. That's my theory. I could be completely off on that. This hood is not removable. This is not waterproof. It might be water repellent. Yes, water repellent, wind resistant, 700 plus fill power. Uh, it says responsibly sourced goose down. So yeah, I this coat and for the price too, it might cost more since I got it. I think I got it like a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. I can't remember. It was pretty cheap. And it's absolutely worth every penny. I think that all of these coats are well made. I've had absolutely no issues. There's like, I don't have any tears or holes or sewing coming undone or anything like that. They're just like really, really well made coats, especially for the money. Um, there's pockets and yeah, this is just a really great coat. Definitely for spring in Canada. And you know, even for winter and depending on where you live, definitely for winter. And they make this in a variety of different colors. And I think the length is very flattering. I just think it's a really cute coat. It's never gonna go out of style. Um, yeah, you just really can't go wrong. And I have nothing bad to say about it. So yeah, like I don't have any comb combs. <laughs> I have no cons regarding these coats. The only con is, I mean, it's not a con, but think about the length you're buying if and if that length is going to suit your needs. That's about it. Other than that, yeah, I have really nothing more to say, nothing that I can think of. I just really like them. If you have any questions on either of these coats, uh, definitely like leave me a comment. I always respond to all of my comments. And yeah, I guess that wraps up my video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed, please do consider subscribing. I would love to have you here and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh my goodness, Bootsy. Hi, Bootsy. Are you staying inside because it's snowing outside? It's too snowy today. Oh my goodness.